Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi, my name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. Today we are doing a pick a card reading for the month of April 2021. Yes, I cannot believe how fast March went. So that being said, before you pick a pile in front of you, I would really love it if you guys went to a calm, quiet space, take a few deep breaths, and really let your intuition pick the pile or your gut pick the pile in front of you. And if you feel drawn to more than one pile, go for it. Um, that being said, this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and know that there's a message in here for you somewhere. The timestamps for each group will be down in the description box below, as well as in the pinned comments by me. That way you can skip ahead to your particular group. All right. So group number one is going to be the Smoky Quartz. Group number one. Group number two here is the Desert Rose. And group number three is going to be the Big O Fluorite. <laughs> All right, if you need to pause the video to meditate on the cards, you can go ahead and do so now. If not, I will see you in your particular group. Hello, my group number ones, those of you who chose the Smoky Quartz, we're going to go ahead and see what's going on in your April 2021. First, we're going to start with your Muse Tarot, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper with your Oracle cards here. Put those off to the side. Okay, first up, oh, we've got the Magician. All right, Manifestation. Then we have six of swords or six of voices in this particular tarot. Okay. I see. I see. And then we have death. Okay. Don't be afraid. This is not um, actual death. Okay. So right off the bat, I am really excited for your April. I know that sounds a little weird, but I am really super excited and proud of you. So right now, this is you, this magician, you are a manifester, you have all the tools you need to get where you want to go to do what you want to do. You ask and tell the universe what you want, and it'll come back and, and be like, yes, here you go. Um, this is awesome to see. Um, so each of these little balls represent a suit of the tarot. So we have, um, I believe the wands, the cups, the pentacles and the uh, swords, goodness sake. So you have everything at your disposal to, to manipulate, to work together with, to produce what you want to produce. You just have to believe in yourself, okay? And you're gonna be going through in the month of April, a time of transition, a time of healing, a time of peace. Like this is a huge transition because not only are you transitioning here, um, the death card is a rebirth, a transition in itself, a transformation, okay? So it's a, it's a brand new cycle for you. You're, uh, something is dying in order to be reborn and to be rebirthed into something new and beautiful for you. So this could be a bunch of things for each and every one of you who picked group one. This could be a new relationship, a new way of being, a new, um, a, a new job, a new place of uh, residency, um, a new talent, or just a new state of mind. So it just depends on how this resonates for you. But know that you are making this happen. Whether you are conscious of it or not, you are already making this transition and this transformation happen. This is healing and this is beautiful to see. Um, some of you, depending on um, the situation, might be traveling, but I don't see that for the, the whole of you. Um, but the Six of Swords here is beautiful. It's going to be transitioning into a time of peace. You're finally going toward the calmer waters, the um, place where you can kind of relax and um, be at peace. This is beautiful. And yeah, this, this whole transformation, if you look at this card, it's just stunning. Think of a beautiful butterfly coming out of its cocoon. Like you did the work, you put in the time, and now you are going to be reborn into something beautiful and amazing. Okay, let's dive a little bit deeper here to see if we can get some specifics. 
with your oracle cards. Oh, would you look at that? We've got transition cauliflower. This is from the Green Witch Oracle. And then we got stimulation. Ooh. Okay, yeah. See, this reminds me of this um, magician card here because you're like stimulating the universe with what you want. Stimulation. What lights your fire? What is going to help you create the world in which you want? Ooh, love, love, love. Okay, next we have the new Shaman's Dream Oracle. And I'm going to read from them because they're really new to me. So the Sky Dancers, we got Surrender. Look at this. This is beautiful. Surrender to the healing process. Surrender your worries to the universe. Surrender what you want to the universe. However that... um looks like to you surrender we're going to read through that and then dances on one foot balancing act well maybe you guys have been just like juggling for so long and now you can finally relax let's take a look let's take a look at what the book says here okay we're going to start with surrender i'm trying to get it all in the frame but wouldn't you know it's not going to work Liberation from attachment or surrender. When a sky dancer appears, she is inviting you to welcome the deepest power of the feminine into your life. You have already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion. Now is the time to invite the sacred feminine, the wisdom within your heart, no matter your gender, to guide you to success. If you have become earthbound, plotting and planning and praying for change, cease and desist. Break the habit of being yourself, of repeating the same behavior and hoping for a different outcome. Stop trying to figure it all out and stop overthinking it. Surrender. The sky dancers are heralding the arrival of a new relationship with yourself in your work or in your love life. Do not assume that this person or opportunity will rescue you. The only way to liberation is to kiss the ground goodbye and take flight to rise above the fray and the drama of the struggling, arguing mind. Dance in the sky and view the madness below. By simply witnessing the actors and the human comedy unfolding on the ground, you are transforming it. As you observe the drama, you unleash the power of the sacred feminine that allows for resolution. The sky dancers know the maps of heaven and the way to the holiest and most sacred spaces on earth. They come to help you with your current life and, even more important, to guide you to the realization of your own divinity. Beautiful. All right. Let's look at dances on one foot. Balancing act. Resourcefulness. Saying yes to life. When dances on one foot shows up, you are called to find a new balance. Just as a dancer moves gracefully in each pose, no matter how precariously balanced a step might seem, you must bring equanimity to the situation before you, no matter how thorny or difficult a relationship seems. If you are putting too much effort into managing your life, work, relationship, family, and digital media, you are missing the point. You have to be dancing while juggling your entire life, knowing that at any one time, half of it is going to be up in the air. It is not that you are doing too much and find it impossible to catch up. Rather, it's you are confusing readiness with preparation. You will never ever be fully prepared for all the challenges in life, but you can be ready to say yes to a new invitation the universe offers you. Live in a state of yes to spirit and no to everything not infused with life, romance, vitality, and the sacred. You will be surprised by how quickly your load lightens when you hold true to this lesson. You are challenged now to work with the resources available to you and not be seduced by the belief, if I only had more. Life has provided you with everything you need to accomplish your goals and fulfill your mission. Boom. Uh, when it feels like you are losing your balance, do not contract, holding your arms close to your chest, for you will fall. Instead, reach out and extend them fully, saying yes to spirit's steadying hand. That's beautiful. See, you guys got this. All right, we have your essential oils cards. We've got processing, yep. Yeah? Slowing down and listening to your inner voice will provide you with direction and purpose. Right on. Lots of yellow on the board too. And green, wow. Awaken. Time to take today to engage your senses and create. The tension that has been dividing your head and heart is leaving. Awaken. Wow. Yeah. That death card, man. It's beautiful. And then we have gratitude. The time for planning is complete. Take action. No matter how small, begin today. 
Yes, begin today. And last essential oil card, we got compassion. Your heart is healing and expanding with love. Spend time showering yourself with that love and then share with others. Yes, that six of swords right there. Love this. Oh, your month of April is going to be beautiful. All right, then we have, what is this? The botanical oracle? Yes, head witch botanical oracle. We've got soothe chamomile yes i love chamomile so much oh my gosh this is beautiful okay so soothe i feel like that goes along with the six of swords and the compassion like this is a time of letting it go and having peace and harmony then we have strength the bear belt <laughs> bear berry try saying that three times fast goodness sake so strength this reminds me of the compassion um, card that you also have here because with strength, there's also that compassion towards yourself, um, inner strength. And I believe that right now um, you might think that you might not have what it takes or you might be doing some negative self-talk, but just know that you have it in you to do what you want to do, to be who you want to be, okay? And then your last one, we've got Brighton, Calendula. This is so cool. So you are gonna brighten the world. Things are gonna brighten up for you like the sun. This flower always reminds me of the sun, even though sunflowers obviously, but brighten. Things are gonna just start opening up for you. This whole transition. This is so fun, okay. I know it seems like very um, kind of intimidating, but the death card is one of my favorite cards. That and the tower, they bring about um, much needed change, much needed transitions. And the fact that you have this six of swords here is going to be a healing transition for you. And that's so exciting. And then we've got some advice from the language of flowers. This, or is it the language of flowers? Hold on, sorry. Flower petals. Okay, sweet pea. The comfort of good company heals old hurts. So find your people that you can trust and lean upon. And then we have Tulip. You are worth what it is you desire. Amen. And your last one, gratitude and grace always look lovely on you. Oh, wow, another gratitude. So um, this is going to be a very thankful thing for you as well. You're going to be very happy about it. Just make sure you are practicing your gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you um, to whatever you uh, believe in. I usually say thank you to the universe um, for each and everything. Um, I'm extremely grateful um, and it brings about more um, abundance for you as well if you are um, living with a, a grateful heart. If you show gratitude for everything all the time it provides uh the universe to come in and give shower you with more abundance so this is going to be a very um healing month for you guys group one i'm very excited and it um i'm really hoping to know if this resonates with you um if you are already um processing the change if you're already feeling that if you're already um uh, making it happen. Let me know if this resonates with you down in the comment section below. I would love to know. And with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. And thank you so much for spending your time with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye! Hello, my group number twos, those of you who chose the Desert Rose. We're going to go ahead and see what's in store for your April 2021 with your Muse Tarot first, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper with your Oracle cards. All right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, Seven of Pentacles, or in this deck, it is Seven of Materials. I love this deck so much. It's stunning. The Muse Tarot. And then we have four of inspiration, or in this deck, four of wands. Ooh, okay. And your last card, the devil. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't be skittish. This is quite interesting. Okay, okay. So normally, normally the devil talks about... Um, 
some kind of bad attachments or negativity, but I'm getting a completely different thing here. So let's, let's talk about it. So the seven of pentacles here tells me you have been putting in the work, okay? You have been doing everything you can to plant those seeds. Do you see how it looks like a, a row of um, like a garden? And she's just walking by and, and t tending the garden. That's what you've been doing. You've been doing this for a while. And this could be like a side hustle for you guys. This could be um, a, a, a creative endeavor that you've been working on that you're hoping to make some money upon. Or, you know, just putting in the work, um, you know, with a therapist or, you know, with some people you trust putting in the time and the effort because what you're working toward here is stability. Now this could look like a few different things for each person here, but what I'm getting is you are putting in the work for a stable home environment because this four of wands is the um, representative of like four walls in a home, home life. This also could be celebrations and fun times like weddings, but that's not what I'm seeing here for the month of April. Now, you guys could be attending those. So depending on how this resonates with you, you guys could have been putting in the work to celebrate um, a family or friends, close person's celebration. However, with this devil card, that's not what I'm seeing. Because this devil card is the outcome of your month of February. And what I see is you breaking bad habits, you breaking chains that held you back, you're breaking... Um, um, ties with relationships that were not serving your best interests. You're, you're breaking ties, breaking chains. You are leaving what doesn't serve you because you have seen what you've wanted and what you want out of life, right? And your stability and your happiness are not going to be um, coming with all of those things that are negative, that are toxic, that are, you know, for instance, if you've been um, putting in the work with working out and eating right and working toward a stable, um, you know, homeostasis in your body, you know, you're going to break free from the bad food, from, you know, the overeating or the temptations, right? Because the devil card is all about temptations. So I see you guys moving forward, breaking all of those ties and breaking those chains. And this is fantastic. You guys have been really working hard. This seven of materials, man, that, that's not something that you just do overnight. That's something that you have been progressively doing. And I am so, so proud of you. Oh my gosh. And it takes a lot to recognize what's no longer working for you. It takes a lot for someone to be very introspective like that and realize, okay, none of this is serving my highest benefit. So I need to cut ties. I need to go. And usually the, the, um, the accoutrement that accompanies the devil card is, is pretty toxic things. It's not, it's not easy to just break free from it. That's why, um, in most, uh, representations of the devil card, there's a lot of chains in it. They're iron, they're ironclad, they are not going anywhere. So the fact that you have been working so hard to get to the stability and to celebrate that stability in the month of April, look at you. That, I got goosebumps. I'm so excited for you. Wow. That is a lot of willpower. That is a lot of restraint. That is a lot of amazing things. I need to have what you're having. <laughs> All right, let's go a little bit deeper here with um, your oracle cards. First up, we've got the Green Witch Oracle. Luck. Look at you. Luck is on your side with this. Luck is on your side with this. Wow. And then we have Grounding. Okay, I'm going to read a little bit from these because I want to see if there's an extra message in here for you guys. Okay, let's start with Luck. Oop, I passed it. I passed it. All right. You may find you are right in the middle of a situation at present or that something is stuck in circles and this could be caused by overreaction or too much interference. It's time to let things progress at their own pace. 
lines bring luck with them. So take a chance and be ready for the ups and downs this energy brings, but know that time is on your side. Don't over plan and be open to letting complexities unravel on their own. Oh, that's exciting though. So basically like this is going to happen. Like there's probably going to be some ups and downs, which you're probably already experiencing with this seven of pentacles here, but just know that you're, you're going to be okay is essentially what I'm getting out of all of this. And then we have grounding potato explore the deeper innermost areas of yourself and situations as potato indicates energies that are calling you to look again at what may or what you may have once missed and will help you bring stability <laughs> if you are looking for an answer try pulling back a little and let things settle on their own first challenges at the moment may include ignorance self-centeredness and forgetfulness so make sure you are compassionate and focused I think you are focused. I think this is going to be an amazing, amazing thing for you. All right. Next up, we have your shaman's oracle. You got three of them. We have the wailing tree reconciliation. Okay. I'm going to read from these as well. So um, forgive me if you don't want to hear the messages, but this is a new deck for me and I want to make sure we're getting the right info for you. Unmarked trail revelation. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely having a revelation. And then we have dragon's horde protecting the future. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's start with wailing tree. When you, <laughs> when you encounter the wailing tree on your path, it's an invitation to stay a while and regroup. A place for you to rest and allow yourself to say goodbye to what no longer serves. Oh my God, I love, love, love this. You may have been overdoing things, working too hard, or putting too much effort into life with little reward. If you've been considering making a change, now is the time to do so. One important thing to consider before you make any changes is that you need to allow yourself to feel your disappointment, your loss, and mourn what was and what could not be. This is a way to honor your experience, to give yourself time to consider all the gifts in it, to put proper closure on it, to really know what you've learned as you walked away from it and into something new. Even in the perception of failure, there is much good to be discovered. However, skipping the stages of loss doesn't get you to reconciliation any faster. In fact, you will discover that you will have to come back at some point. So do it all now, look at it all squarely and honestly and say with your feelings, life is not either or, it's both and this and that. So as you dive in and process this, allow it to become a temporary travel companion on your journey. The feelings that this will bring to the surface will be challenging for sure, yet like all things, they will pass soon enough and you will be more enriched by the experience. That's so beautiful. Okay, unmarked trail, an unprecedented experience, discovery, a revelation. You are called now to embark on a sacred journey. The Arthurian knights are in their quest for the Holy Grail had to make sure to take an unmarked trail that no one had ever followed or they would not accomplish their goal. Likewise, you must enter the darkest for forest. I cannot read. Oh my gosh. You must enter the darkest forest of your soul via a route as yet unidentified to find out what you seek. The manicured paths will bring you only temporary pre pleasure and late, <laughs> later great pain. Stop it. You already know there is no reward at the end of the road you are following. You are only killing time. Pause, breathe, and commit in your heart to a sacred endeavor. Vow to not look for old uh, solutions that may have worked with past challenges. Get out of character, try the outrageous, and keep your quest private. Now is the time to speak of the voice that you called that called to you to embark on the unmarked trail. That time will come. The unmarked trail can be a sign that you have already made a choice, even if you do not want to acknowledge it. Be at peace with what your heart knows to be true. Your heart has always been made up and your mind will follow. Pack lightly, tracking, <laughs> taking with you only essential beliefs that you know to be trustworthy under all circumstances. The universe has your back. I love it. All right, last one here, the dragon's horde protecting the future legacies true riches. In the dragon's horde, jewels and precious objects scatter the ground while ancient scrolls inscribed with the wisdom teachings lie within your reach. This is a uh, rich opportunity and you can fill your satchel with the treasures you like best. 
Take the gifts offered you and dedicate them to the well-being of all, beginning with your own. But be aware, all that glitters is not gold. Select the precious treasures that will fulfill your spiritual growth and avoid the shiny objects that are empty of real value. Know that the hoard does not belong to you. It belongs to our grandchildren. What is the inheritance that you wish to leave for tomorrow? What seeds are you planting that you will harvest in your old age when you are weary? Uh, That seven pentacles again. What seeds will bear fruit after you are no longer here? The dragon guards the legacy of the future. All who come empty-handed or to fill only their own pockets with gold lie in a dusty heap of bones. You have been allowed entrance by virtue of your kindness, of your spiritual practice, or sheer luck. Consider as well that your present, this moment, is the future to the dragon. You may not, or you may be the one we have all been waiting for. So do not hesitate to take what bequest has been reserved for you since the beginning of the time. This is the time to be bold. Do not delay or overthink. Remember to bring an offering for the dragon, lest it believe you are its lunch. A simple prayer will do. Protecting the future, a legacy. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? Because things have been holding you back for too long. You've worked too hard to deal with all of that. Okay. All right, let's keep going. We only have a few other cards here. We have your essential oil cards here, shielded. You will clearly see what you are taking on from outside influence and release. Uh Uh-huh. Your energetic boundaries are fortified. Then we have reconnect. The root of the issue for you while will make itself known. Be open to the information you receive from your body, mind, and environment. Okay. And then we have belief. You are clearing away beliefs, energy, and memories that no longer serve you. So the necessary decisions will be made. Look at that. Oh, I love this. And then we have breathe or breath. Excuse me. You are ready to let go of the suffering so that you can take in new possibilities. Release so you can receive. I love this so much. All right. And your last Oracle cards before we get to some advice are your hedge witch botanical oracle we have tribulation okay nettle tribulation you've been through it you have been through it it's time to release that is what is up is time to release trials and tribulations that reminds me of uh the (laughs) you all have seen princess and the frog right okay tiana her song Um, and now I'm like, but she talks about all of the trials and tribulations that she has been through and that she's no longer going to be dealing with it. She's worked hard to get where she is and nobody's going to be taking that away from her. So think like Tiana is what I'm getting at basically. (laughs) And then we have regenerate. Yes. Moral. I believe that is a mushroom. Regenerate. You are going to be reborn in a way that you have never felt before. Regenerate. We're going to heal. We're going to pick ourselves up. We are going to do what needs to be done. And your last one here, mystery. Ghost pipe. Interesting. The mystery. What are we uncovering about ourselves? What are we going to see um, envelop after we throw away and break those chains, right? What do we want to be? What do we want to see? The world is a mystery right now, but it'll become clear once you let go of the things that no longer hold you back anymore. All right. Now we've got some advice from the uh, flower petals. Lily of the Valley. Happiness is found with your purpose. Right on. Lilac. The future is sometimes lost in the wanderings of yesterday. All right, so we learn from the past, but yet we must let go of it in order to create more. And why is my camera shaking so much? Stop. And look, it's the Plumeria Frangipani. <laughs> you are truly beautiful on the inside and the outside. Yes, I agree. And last, we have Daphne. What pleases us most shapes us. All right. There's a lot going on in your April and I am here for it. This is amazing. I am so excited for you. I just want to, this mystery card is just calling me. I just want to see real fast 
ghost pipe. Let's see. Real fast. Where are you? Does this have a... Let me see. Of course, it doesn't have a uh, <laughs> table of contents here, so bear with me. I just want to see if there's a message in here because I keep going back to it. Okay, ghost pipe. This plant speaks to subterraneous subconscious connections and the dark mysteries of the hidden realm. If you are attempting to navigate a difficult situation or find your way through a, a confusing time or relationship, try delving deep. Seek beyond the superficial aspects of the problem. Connect with your shadow self. Sometimes we must go into the darkness to find the light. There you go. Beautiful. The strange nature of this organism and its ability to grow in the dark. Wow. Okay. Just wanted to see if there was anything extra and there was. So this is exciting. I'm excited for you. I am so very, very, very proud of you for doing the work. Okay. It could be spiritually. It could be um, physically. It could be creatively. You're doing the work. You're putting in the effort. You're putting in the time for your own stability and possibly your family's stability too. And you're releasing the stuff that in the ick that has been holding you back. I am so proud of you. Um, let me know, please, if this resonated with you, what group you chose down in the comment section. I would love to know. And with that being said, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really enjoy it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my group number threes, those of you who chose the fluorite this massive thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what your April 2021 has for you. First, starting out with your Muse Tarot, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper with your Oracle cards. All right. First up, we've got 10 of Inspiration or the 10 of Wands. The Empress. Okay. Beautiful. And last, we've got Six of Inspiration or Six of Wands. Okay. <sighs> With this Ten of Wands here, you have been through it. I'm getting, I'm feeling really heavy. Um, I'm feeling like you guys have been taking on way too much. Um, and things just keep piling on, right? Um... So what I'm seeing here is that we need to be okay with delegating. We need to be okay with um, allowing, ooh, sorry, allowing other people to help you out. Um, but this could be a lot of different things for each person, correct? So um, you could just be feeling so overloaded right now. So you can feel so um, piled upon. You know, this, this is a lot, but you're coming to the end, right? It's, it's going to be okay. This is a message for you to just keep going, right? Just, you know, you're climbing up that hill. You're almost there. You're literally almost there. And with this Empress card, this is not only a message for you to keep going, but to embody that nurturing feeling and energy of the Empress, to embody that, um, that uh, creativeness of the empress. So to be able to, um, I'm just going to say it, to birth something into existence, whether this is um, an opportunity or a creative pat endeavor or, you know, um, the empress is that mother. She is that nurturer. She, she embodies all of that. She is able to create at will. All right, that is her energy. The whole universe is coming out of her. Like, so what this is getting at is embody this energy. You're so close. You're almost there. Um, give yourself some self-love. Take some time out. Because again, this is a lot of pile upon energy. This is, you, you guys are like at your limit. And you need to be okay with letting some of that go. 
and delegating some of those responsibilities or delegating some of those chores to other people. You cannot give from an empty battery, right? So embody some compassion towards yourself and some self-care time. With all of this, abundance is coming your way, okay? Because we have this six of wands, and this is success. This is recognition, okay? So that by the end of April, things are going to start looking pretty dang good for you. You're so close. You're almost there. I feel like there's a lot of you too that this was some form of um, work project that you've been working on for so long. And now finally at the end of April, you're going to get the recognition for it. This could this could be like I'm getting so many different things. Um, I'm seeing so many different things. So I feel like it's, it's, this is going to be a very popular um, choice for um, you guys, this group number three. So there's a lot going on that um, can embody these em energies. So just take what resonates because there's, there's just, just all there in my head uh, <laughs> going crazy. So what I'm going to do is to dive a little bit deeper with your um, confirmation cards. So that way we can get, L or with your confirmation, with your oracle card so I can get some confirmation. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. This is your green witch oracle. Abundance. Did I not say abundance was coming your way? Great. Yes. That's exciting. And then we've got vitality. Yeah, you're going to start finding, especially with this empress card. <laughs> Look, and it's a uh, fig. I love that. You're going to get your mojo back is essentially what I'm feeling here. Okay. You're going to get some more movement underneath you. You're going to feel better. Um, things are going to go your way. And then we have regeneration. Yes. Self-care. Okay. Give yourself a time out. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Job's done. Regenerate. Okay. All right, then we have your shaman's dream oracle. Yeah, fool's embrace, transmuting pain. With this 10 of wands, yeah, you're definitely um, taking on a lot and transmuting it into creative energy too. And success. I'm going to read from the book for this. And then we have the wall obstacles. Yeah, you've got, <laughs> you, you've had a lot of, of obstacles, it looks like. Okay, so let's read for fool's embrace first. Okay. Part of my sniffles, I have really bad allergies and the allergy medication is not doing its job. <laughs> Transmuting pain, allowing life to love you and the experience of both land. The pain of life is sometimes unbearable. And when we're in it, we think that pain, that loss, that betrayal will always be woven through our con continuity of existence. We're kept hostage by the way we identify with the pain and what we make it mean. If we let it, it becomes etched into us like a tattoo. No matter where on the spectrum of pain you find yourself now, whether it be mild disappointment or searing loss, it's time to make peace with it. Befriend it rather than resisting it, running from it, or judging it as bad or unfair or hostile. Can you see the gift that is here? Surrender to the fool's embrace, allowing the truth and allowing the truth to envelop you in love and compassion. What if you could learn something amazing from this? What is truly yours will not pass you by. Something better and perfect for you is waiting elsewhere. If you can come to terms with the liberation and freedom inherent in loss, your broken heart might open you up to a greater sense of humanity and compassion. Again, with the Empress energy compassion here. As in the narrative of the tarot, the fool will be at the beginning of your life's adventure and at the end when you've integrated all the wisdom you've accumulated along the journey. He will never let you down or lie to you. He will, however, teach you how to revel in both the beauty and desperation of life. Both and this and that will always be true. Remember, the pearl can't be created without the gritty sand causing discomfort and acting as a catalyst in the oyster. Your pearl is discovered in radical acceptance that everything has value. All is well now and will be well. Remember that today as you feel the fool's embrace. That is beautiful. The oyster, the oyster, yeah. Pearl in the oyster. That is a beautiful little metaphor there. I love that. 
All right, let's read for the wall and then we'll continue on here. Obstacles. Being inconvenienced by life, detours, and non-action. There are moments in your life when you are so geared up, so sure that you are on track with, the, with such drive and momentum, that you are shocked and confused when you encounter a wall. This unpredictability occurs outside your ability to plan, regardless if of if you've done everything right in alignment with the divine. It's imperative that you change your attitude now. This temporary roadblock is not an obstacle to blast through. This is not an invitation to push harder, cancel other plans, or worry about who will win or lose. This is a stopping point to enable you to slow down and contemplate the part of the manifesting question or equation that you and everyone else forgets. Life on life's terms will override your best laid plans. Yes, as inconvenient as it may seem, this experience is an important reminder that you are a human being, not a be. Oh my goodness, read Natasha is an important reminder that you are a human being, not a human doing. Oh, I like that. Perhaps you're being reminded of your mortality or that you are but a small part of a bigger universe where your destiny intersects with others. Your life may be meant to serve another purpose at this moment and your attention meant to be directed elsewhere. Consider that this place of temporary non-action is exactly meant to be for you. Perhaps it's because all you desire and have set in motion needs time to coalesce into a form on the other side. Could it be that all the elements are not yet in place for its manifestation to be for the highest good of all? Patience is required now and the wisdom that this might be a great time to take a break and contemplate gratitude. What is truly yours will never be walled off from you. Oh, I love that. So again, when I said take some time out for self-care, this is exactly that reason because you're almost there. But again, there's a wall, there's a lot of burden, there's a lot of obstacles for you. And sometimes we just need a time out. Sometimes we just need a break. Sometimes if we try to push through and we have to keep going, then we end up screwing everything up that we've built so hard to work for because we're so exhausted and we're so um, emotionally and physically drained by doing so much that even though we've worked so hard to that point and we push through, we're not going to see the best parts of it. We're not going to get to do the best parts and finishing it off right because we're just so exhausted, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So that's exciting um, to see that everything will work out. Everything will be okay. And I feel like half the time when we're involved in like big projects or big changes or life events, we're so narrowly seen or we're so um, tunnel visioned that we don't see the outcome on the other side, uh, the beautifulness that things could be. Um, it's like those paintings where the impressionist paintings, when you look at it from up close, all you see are these little dots. All you see are these specks and these forms of paint. But once you take the step back and you look at it, it's this beautiful textured uh, masterpiece of this scene that you know you couldn't see from when you were close up but when you take a step back you see how beautiful it is what this masterpiece is exciting okay let's keep going forward we have your essential oil cards we've got faith yep know that everything will work out as is as it needs to and hold a space of gratitude as you watch the miracles unfold. I can't, man. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. Cheerful. The future is bright. Enjoy knowing that your optimism today fuels your amazing tomorrow. Exactly. Sometimes we just get stuck. Sometimes we feel so burdened that we just get bogged down that we lose that faith, that we lose the the drive. But you're so close. You're almost there. You're getting there. You're getting to your, um, the top, top of the top, the, the, the finish line. This is awesome. If I can actually speak my words, that would be fantastic today. Expel. You, as you align with the frequency of peace, the invasions from outside yourself and dissonance within are neutralized. Look at that. Put you up there. And your last one here, evolution. 
the imbalances and relationships that have been keeping you down are no longer needed. You are ready to transform. Oh my gosh, I love it. Lots of yellow, lots of green on the board in case that is something that you uh, look at. And then we have your head wit hedge witch botanical oracle preserve. When I look at this, I see perseverance. Um, I see you preserving what your ideas are, your ideals are, you keep going, you keep pushing. However, you know, not everything stays preserved. So what can you let go of? What can you release to keep the momentum, right? Preserve. This is kind of like, um, I think of in science and lab, when you had those, the, the jars of vinegar of the, like the frog legs or whatever it was, it was, it was a time to be alive. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but sometimes like it just, you can't preserve everything. Like you can't sit there and preserve everything. So you're overdoing it, right? Hopefully this is making sense. It makes sense in my mind how I'm saying it, but you never know. And look at this adventure. You've got an adventure coming, especially with this uh, six of wands, this success, recognition, adventure. Enjoy the ride is what I'm hearing. Um, you you still have a little ways to go here. You're almost there, but you know, there there's a lot holding you down. And then we've got enjoy. Did I not just say enjoy the ride? Enjoy yourself, right? Use that Empress energy to enjoy. And your last one, courage. It takes courage to delegate. It takes courage to keep going. It takes courage to let some of your um, guard down. And it takes courage to create. It takes courage to um, keep going. So just remind yourself that it's okay. And it's all right to let some things go, to accept what things, you know, you don't know that you no longer need and to keep moving. Okay, and last cards for you are these um, inspiration cards. These are the language of, no, flower petals, excuse me, flower petals. Okay, some advice. We've got cherry blossoms. Return quietly now and be at peace. Dahlia, you have what it takes. Amen. Snowdrop, tomorrow brings the illuminations of your hopes. And last, the sun shines brighter when you are here, Daffodil. You're going to have a very successful month. I feel like right now you're just taking on so much that it's hard for you to kind of focus and find what you need um, to, to deal with first. But you're going uphill. You're doing what you need to do. Sometimes uphill is like the worst position to be in because you feel like you cannot take another step. But embody that Empress energy that creativeness, that compassion for yourself, that self-love, that nurturing energy, because you're going to be successful at whatever you're doing, that you're, whatever is, is going on with you this month of April. You're going to get the acknowledgement, the recognition, and the abundance along with it, okay? So just know that peace will come, enjoy the ride, um, and delegate what you need to delegate. Hopefully this resonates with you. If it does, please let me know down in the comment section what group you chose. Um, I'm so excited for you. I know, I know there's a lot of, a lot of heaviness going on right now. Um, so I wish you all love and I wish you all peace, um, especially if you're taking that into April. Um, but just know we're, we're all there with you. Um, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and spending your time with me. And with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.